Hello, everybody. How are you been? I hope you already had a wonderful holiday. And here's me wishing you a belated Merry Christmas. Now, I know I haven't seen you guys in a while, but I have been dropping new materials uh, for on the Cupcake channel. And the, the link to that, ch uh, that channel is below on the description box. So please, come and watch me and my, uh, my friends there. Meanwhile, today I want to talk about a series that's very near, dear to my heart. This is Strangers in Paradise. Now, originally when I read this book, um, I wasn't really reading anything like this before. I was reading mostly, you know, superhero stuff. Until my friend Ben recommended this to me, and initially I didn't know what to think. I was like, it's not really for me, you know, I'm here to read Spider-Man, I'm here to read Batman. But a story about a relationship between of, of people? Why am I reading this? But after I read the first volume, I was hooked. And then, of course, after that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not over yet. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 volumes later is still one of my favorite comic series of all time. Why does this book appeal to me so much? Well, here, we gotta give it to Terry Moore the writer and artist of this series, the way he's able to tug at the reader's heartstring is nothing like I've ever seen before, at least for a comic book. I have, you know, I have read all these years reading comic books. I have never shed tears, ever cried reading a book than I did with this book. Now, what, especially doing the second volume, yeah, let me put this away. I dream of you, okay? As you can see, there's a little yellow smudge here. That's from a uh, bookmark, and uh, mixed with my tears. And well, you know, I'm not afraid to say I cry. Um, anyways, the, at this time when I was reading this book, I was going through some hard relationship issues, and then this book somehow just bring you know all the sadness out of me. And uh, for that, I don't know. I should be. I'm, I'm grateful that able to help me express myself, you know, in the form of a comic book. And then, of course, years later, I bought the omnibus edition of this book and the Strangers in Paradise 25, which is a follow-up to the original run. They're both very good. Um, so this is not really a, you know, this is not me talking about storyline because, as you can see, it's a lot of storyline going on. And this is basically a retrospective how I feel about this book. And how I feel about this book is that it's very personal. And uh, it all started with these three characters, okay? You got David, you got Francine, and you have Kachu. It's a love story of three friends that really love each other. And uh, in the end, you're thinking, friendship and love, isn't that what we really strive for in our lives? Try to find people that we truly can connect with. And that's what we have here. You have Francine and Kachu, right? They're best friends since high school. And you have David and Kachu, you know, destiny soulmates. It's, it's hard to really put it, you know, really put this in, in words. But once you read it, you'll understand how, how Terry Moore managed to just to, you know, Take all your emotions, how, how how you what you want in relationships, and put on paper form. And uh, and I really I don't know. I mean, it's it's really difficult to really you know say it in words. But it's something. It's just an experience that you really really need. And also they introduce other characters. You have Casey. You know, and and Tambi. I mean, this is just beyond. The thing is, more than anything, this is more of a soap opera type of book because it's more beyond than a love triangle. But a story of, you know, there's also espionage, betrayal, 
um, underworld crimes, and redemption. And one of the biggest redemption stories is that of David. And they don't really tell David's uh, background story until much later, after the main story is finished. And it's important to see that, you know, how someone who had done so many bad things can somehow find redemption and find, you know, find love after after everything. And uh, if you never read this book or read any Terry Moore stuff, I think if you have the time, it's something that you, uh, you really should read. Um, the art is beautiful. I mean, let's just look at the art. So I will give you, I also bought this. The treasury size edition. I have bought every collected edition of this series. And uh, as you can see, of course you have all the original covers, right? In some of the later ones, when it was printed by image, it actually did some color issues, but mostly it was done in black and white. And actually there is, when it was printed by, published under image, there, um, Jim Lee actually did a cover for it, which I thought was really cool. I think I have it here somewhere. Uh, there we go. This is a uh, Stranger in Paradise art by Jim Lee. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. And then, not only that, also you could also see the uh, some of the more cartoony style art Terry Moore is uh, is known for. I think. Which he does incorporate this in this book. It would give a little bit, you know, give a little break from the seriousness of everything. Um, I'm not sure if this is still in print, but I think all the uh, the regular trade paperbacks are still in print. And it's it's a, it's, it's a big task. I know the 17 volumes or two or two volumes in uh, omnibus format. Okay. But I think if you trust my taste. Is something you know you should really invest uh, invest your time into, and you will find fulfillment after you finish the entire series, because the characters that in this in this book is actually aspect of who everybody is, and is what everybody uh, aspire to be. Okay. Anyways, I don't want to talk too much. Um, I just say I just want to say this: this is one of my highest recommendation series of all time, and that's it. Anyways, that is that. Thank you for hearing me rambling. And uh, my social media info is also below in the description box. So please, comment, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will try to give you more content sooner than later. I promise. Anyways, have a good day. Goodbye.